night. Do you ever find yourself so bored that watching television or traffic seems interesting? Well, look, lose the attitude, okay? Check this out. Pretty cool, huh? This is a wetland. It's like a swamp, a marsh, or a bog. Besides being beautiful, it turns out they're extremely important. They're found in every state in the U.S., and there's probably one in your neighborhood. So what is a wetland anyway? Well, you got land, you got water, it's not that complicated. So what I'm talking about is a wetland is a place with reduced O2 exchange, reduced oxygen exchange, so the soil is therefore what? Hydric soil, that's right, reduced O2 with the hydric soil. So this, as you can see, is a scrub and shrub wetland. Now scrub and shrub wetlands are marked by what? By scrubs and shrubs. They're what? They're palustrine, palustrine wetlands, that's what I mean. So what you have here is hydrophytic vegetation, hydrophytic flora, which would be hydrophytes, hydrophytes. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, what, what I'm trying to say is a wetland is any place where the land is wet. <laughs> That's where they got the idea for the name, okay? But for a long time, people considered wetlands more like wastelands. So you see, because of this goofy idea that wetlands are sort of useless, I mean, people have tried all these nutty things. Now, now take a look. Okay, what you got here is a parking lot right on top of this 10,000-year-old wetland, and it's not working out. In fact, the whole place is sinking. The story is that this parking lot is 60 feet thick. That's, I'm six feet tall, that's like 10 of me thick. How tall are you, like four and a half, five feet tall? It's like 11 or 12 of you thick. I mean, that's, that's out of control. That's not working out. So here, here's what I want you to do. I want you to think things through, okay? You're gonna build a building, you're gonna build a parking lot. You should take a second and say, maybe, you know, wetland isn't the best place to do it because it's gonna be gone. Let people try it. No problem. Now, if you just excuse me while I grab this boot. <laughs> Nothing to it. <laughs> All right. We've got a major wetland here, okay? This is uh, um, an, uh, a salt marsh and the tide flat. You see, I'm sort of sinking. Now, this muck is full of decaying plants and animals. And there's other plants and animals that feed on this. And then the salmon come up here and feed on those animals. And this stuff's called detritus. Very important to the ecology of wetlands. Furthermore, this whole area acts like a big sponge. You know, I'm sort of, uh, sort of sinking here. Wetlands are also important as a home to thousands of species of fish and wildlife. Birds, mammals, reptiles, insects, amphibia, fish, and shellfish all need wetlands to live and grow. So what are we talking about? We're talking about wetlands. See, this water looks dirty, doesn't it? Well, here's another amazing thing about wetlands. They actually filter it, just like this coffee filter. The soil and plants, plants like these, in the wetland actually help clean the water up. So we humans come along and do what? We start dumping stuff like uh, petroleum distillates, uh, pathogenic bacteria, uh, PCBs, DDT, and all that stuff. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about pollution. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, wetlands can do a lot to clean the water up. Of course, wetlands can only do so much. The best way to have clean water is not to pollute it in the first place, for crying out loud. Here's another great thing about wetlands. This is a wetland, this is a flood. Wetlands soak up floods. <laughs> it's just a great thing. Pop quiz! Put away your books. Okay, wetlands are good for what? A, flood control. B, cleaning water. C, home to wildlife or D, throwing old tires in concrete. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. A, B, C, flood control, cleaning water, home to wildlife. You with me? Not all wetlands look like this. Sometimes they look like this. Wetlands can be anywhere where the land is wet, but sometimes they can be dry, like in the summer, but they are still very important.
over the years, we've really messed up a lot of wetlands. We've drained, dredged, diked, dumped, done all sorts of bad stuff to them, and it's made a mess. Today, we've destroyed over half of our wetlands, and that is just a very bad thing. If you know what I'm saying, if you, if you, can I say, if you dig me. Now that you know what wetlands are and why they're important, you say to me, hey, what can I do? Well, here's what you can do. Write to your congressman, city council, mayor. Tell your, tell your parents, tell your friends' parents. Talk to people you don't even know. Just tell them, tell them, tell, tell, tell them. Preserve wetlands, it's important. I'm telling you, oh gosh, I should pull back. But anyway, it's very important. Preserve wetlands. I mean, they're the greatest. Check this out for crying out loud. I love to explore this place. There's so much neat stuff out here. Guys, 